Well, how's it going, everybody? Happy Friday. Let's see who's here right now. Francois, we've got... Well, let me back this up, okay? I want to make sure I catch everybody here. We've got... <laughs> inscrutable owl thank you so much thank you the owl has come through <laughs> thank you wow we got a lot of people today look at this this is so awesome paul david eugene great 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 mr jarble I, come on i mean i i'm of course you're here how are you doing mr jarble oh my goodness we have so many people and thank you so much for your contribution i really appreciate it um, who else? Where else? Let me get make sure I get all of this straight. Um, YouTube really, I if I could change one thing about YouTube, it would be when I do these live streams for there to be a separate window that would allow me to sort the comments and slow them down so that I, they, they could go at my rate of speed. <laughs> okay. But we got a great show for you this Friday and I'm really glad you're here. So I've, I got some organization. I'm getting organized now. Check this out. I've got, I'm going old school, old school. Look, sponsored videos, check it out. I, I, and so I have a tab, right, for each sponsor. And I can, I can have it right near me, so it's organized. It's not on the computer where it's lost in the digital world. Check this out. Every single review. And of course, this one's a lot bigger. Every tab in this book is a product that I have in the studio that I plan on making a review on. And look at that, it's all labeled. I'm telling you, I'm organized today. So, with that being said, okay, let's get to it. We're gonna get so organized. We got our welcome right now. So this is the welcome, <laughs> okay? Now there's a little bit of housekeeping I wanna do and that has to do with the Pal Detect Discord server. Okay, and I mentioned it on the video today, but I, it bears repeating and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. We have Pal Detect backstage. That is the area. If you go to paldetect.com slash backstage, that's where you can join up. It's a, it's a monthly deal with um, Patreon. And it kind of brings you backstage. You know, you, there's, a, there's a lot of benefits to it. I'm not going to go over all of the different things that we do, but part of it is a Discord server. And that has been going great. But one of the problems that I'm noticing is that that's one canoe. Think of that going down the river. You got the Pal Detect, right? Backstage people going down the river in this canoe. Now, you have another canoe going down that river. And that those are the YouTube channel members, okay? And with the YouTube channel members, for example, you they're the people that click on this little join button, okay? And they support the channel as well. They also have, and if, if you are a member, I'm speaking to you now, you also have access to the Discord server. And what I've noticed, and I brought this up with the backstage people, is that there are a lot of YouTube channel members that have not used that benefit. So I'm really trying to promote it because you're paying the monthly fee, you're supporting the channel, thank you, but you're getting this benefit, and the benefit is you can go to Discord and connect with other photographers, other filmmakers, and you know, and, and channel members. So check it out. And if you are a channel member, go to it's paldetect.com slash discord. And I have instructions on how you can get in. So I just wanted to get that little bit of housekeeping out of the way for today. Okay. So what I'd like to do is go right into XH2 and XH2S impressions. So the good news is I have been, you know, nonstop shooting with the XH2S camera. And <laughs> I made a video today about some of the, I guess you could say the issues that I'm having with it. Overall, I love this camera, overall. I mean, if you're looking to get into the video space, and you love the XT line of cameras, I do think you're gonna love this camera, but that comes with sort of a little asterisk, right? Then you gotta scroll down to the bottom and read the footnote. And the footnote is, it has a PASM dial. That's number one. And number two, you know, the way that the ISO button works, where you have to press the ISO button, 
it comes up on the screen and then you got to use the D-pad or the little joystick. It's things like that that I'm getting used to as I'm using it, but it's just something to be aware of, that it's, it's a different beast altogether. But overall, I far prefer the weight of this camera, the ergonomics, everything about it, pretty much except for the dials, than I do the X-T4 or the X-T3. And I really have to say the best lens for the X-H2S, in my opinion, that I've been using, okay? It's not the 16 millimeter, not at all. It is the 16 to 25. And I'll tell you why. First of all, I love this lens. You know that if you've been watching the channel. And the 16 to 55 millimeter lens, as I've said, is like having four prime lenses in one. And when you have it on an X-T4 or an X-T3 camera, it's not pleasant to use. And the reason why is the grip. This grip is really, really, really shallow. And when you have a lens like that and you're out and about, you notice it more. It's just, it doesn't have a balanced feel to it. Whereas this is perfect. This just, everything about it, because you have enough weight here to counteract the weight of the lens. So that would probably be my biggest takeaway in using the X-H2S camera is the 16 to 55 lens. I cannot recommend that one enough, for sure. How about you? Have you used the X-H2S? And if so, have you tried, if you have one, the 16 to 55? Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna say hello. I'm gonna keep jumping back in here. Uh, all right, we got uh, Gary Moore. How you doing? We got Christian. Hello, hello, hello. Frank Miles. Hey, Miles. How you doing, buddy? Oh man, this is great. This is so cool. Finally, the week is, this was not a great week. Okay. A little stressful for me on just with a lot of stuff. So this is more to benefit me than anything else. <laughs> just to connect with you. Really. It, it, it means so much to me. So now obviously I haven't, I've got other little toys here and I've been testing them out a little bit. So I took the X-H2S, which, you know, it's a larger camera than the X-T3. And when you have the 150 to 600 on it, it's not, you know, it's, it's almost ridiculous to put this lens on this camera. But on the X-H2, it's a little bit better because again, it has to do with the grip. And I took this out and I went shooting. I shot some moon shots. I was, it was actually, it was really funny because I went out to shoot photos of the moon and it was rushed as everything is with me. It was rushed. And I had a really crappy tripod, okay? So I had it on the tripod. The tripod was so lousy. The thing was aimed at the moon. I had it all the way out at 600 and it went, you know, you know, it kept falling forward. So I'm having to hold it up. Let me show you the picture. <laughs> Yeah, I got to do, here it is. There's the picture I took. That's what the moon looks like with this lens, okay? And what's interesting about it is you can see the craters and stuff on it. Check it out. Look at that. In the lower left, do you see that? You can just see the ridges and the craters. That's what you can get with this lens. Um, and it would have been a little more sharp, except that I think there was some motion blur, which was my fault. But so I did that. I went out and I got shots like that. Then I went out and I took pictures of some fall colors. And I got something like this. This was shot at six, no, excuse me. This was shot at 150. So here we are at 150 millimeters on the other end of the scale. Just stunning colors. I love how this lens renders. Just absolutely love it. Um, you know, it's gonna be hard to send this one back to Fuji. This has to go back to Fuji. Um, the X-H2 has to go back to Fuji. Uh, <laughs> uh, all this stuff is going back to Fuji. In fact, I've got it for about another week. So, you know, I'm, I'm working as fast as I can to, to make more videos. But guess what arrived yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Now, as part of this agreement, I must say, B&H Photo, <laughs> thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I will put a link where you can get what's inside this box 
once I'm done with the live stream, I'll have it on the live stream, okay? But B&H sent this, so what could it be? Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. All right. What could this be? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so B&H sent me the X-H2 and Fuji sent me the X-H2S to test. And I remember I said, and I think it was in my last live stream, there may be some crossover period where both of these amazing cameras are in the studio at the same time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has arrived. The day has arrived. They are here together. So I'm going to try and do some video, if I can, with them together, something to compare. Here's what I need from you. If you could get any question answered, all right, about both of these cameras compared, what would that be? What would you want to see if you could see a video where they were compared? Um, I can't do a lot because I, you know, I've got this for maybe a couple of weeks and this has to go back next week. So don't have a lot of time, but I could certainly uh, answer some questions on it. I'm really looking forward to opening this up. Um, you know, and it was funny because I did a live stream when this gear arrived. This was a couple of weeks ago, and, and somebody wrote a comment saying, I didn't come to watch your live stream to see you open up a box. What's so exciting about that? So should I stop opening gear on the live stream? Let me know. I'm thinking it was just the one person, but, you know, I don't know. Is it boring to open up stuff? Okay, where are we at here? Um, Levi Phillips. Hi, rolling shutter. That's not a bad idea. Um, let's see, we got Natalie, how are you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. Yes, yes, Mr. Jarvel, you are so right. Um, oh, cool, cool. Okay, well, we're gonna get into some rumors coming up too as well. And then I've got kind of a thing to tell you at the end. So, all right, now, let me show you. Let's do a little bit of what's called dun, 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 channel news, <laughs> channel news. And I'm basically going to tell you some of the videos that I'm working on. Most of them have to do with the X-H2S and, and now the X-H2. However, I would love to get this lens in there if I can, if there's enough time. But one of the things that I'm noticing is I really am behind on product reviews. And the way that it works with product reviews is, I mean, I get a lot of emails from various vendors and they'll say, would you like to review this product on, on your channel? And most of the time I get, I'll answer back and I'll say, look, I don't know if I can review it. I honestly, I'm full up, but if you want to send it anyway, send it, but I am not promising that I'm reviewing it. And then with some vendors, I do promise that I will review it. Um, and they have no input as to the video. They, they are not allowed to see it. They have no... I, I cut off all communication with them from that point on until the video is published. So one company in particular that I do want to do a review on because I do think it's going to help a lot of you out with regard to the X-H2 cameras, the cinema stuff, is, are gimbals. I get a lot of questions about gimbals. Which one is the best for Fujifilm? Um, is there, how do you balance a gimbal? How do you connect the camera to a gimbal? What type of lens can you use on a gimbal? For example, the 16 to 55. That lens will cause the gimbal not to work for, for smaller gimbals. So, you know, that, there's like a whole world of gimbals. So, a little bit of channel news. I've got this one right here. This is the um, Weeble 3. And this is a nice, reasonably priced gimbal from Zhuin. And Zhuin did reach out to me and asked if I wanted to review it. And I said, yeah, I do. Now, the only, obviously this is not gonna hold a camera with a lens like this, okay? It's a smaller gimbal. Um, and really, I don't know. I mean, this is a perfect gimbal for an X-T camera. And I'm in the middle of testing that right now. And when I say an X-T camera, I mean an X-T camera with, say, an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, right? You would get absolutely stunning shots with this in terms of stabilization, okay? 
Um, and there's there's other things you can do with it as well, not just stabilizing. There's there's type of camera movement that you can do that's incredible, and I'm going to show you that. However, we now have these larger XH cameras, and when you combine them with larger lenses, right? What happens now? Will it work? That's the kind of stuff I want to report out to you on and let you know because it would be nice if I could come out of this with an absolute recommendation of this is the best stabilizer that you can get if you want to shoot video on a Fujifilm camera. Um, so I have this Weeble 3, and I think this is overall probably the most popular one in terms of for Fuji shooters. Um, however, there is, there's a slightly larger one, okay, um, that they sent over, and it's the crane, all right? Um, the crane is big, and it's quite serious. So, yeah, will it hold a camera like this? Absolutely. Um, but my goal isn't to tell everybody, go get the crane, because that's, that's expensive. But the Weeble 3, or something that that smaller, less expensive range, will it work with Fuji? That's what I want to find out. And what kind of footage can you get? And how good is it? So that's one of the things that I'm working on on the channel as, you know, as we speak, so to speak. Okay. Um, what do we got here? We got some spam coming in here. How do I do that? Let's see. Hold on. Ban. Okay. Okay. Keith. XT4 to XH2S only if you're doing wildlife. Okay, that's an interesting viewpoint. I don't, you know, everybody has their specialty, you know. Um, and no, okay, here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who wants to talk about a possible XT5? I think that's kind of the elephant in the room. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Um, all right, so let's get to it. I think we need to get to it. And... I must promote, because I get all of my news, I get all of my news right from Fuji Rumors, okay? Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. X-Summit Tokyo 2022, November 2nd, 1 p.m., which I believe it's 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I believe. So this is in Japan, it's going to be in Tokyo. So 1 p.m. in GMT, whatever time that is in your time zone, 1 p.m. GMT. Okay, so I guess I'd like to open the floor to you. Some questions. What do you think they're going to announce? <laughs> okay, this is, I mean, something is just really different going on here because this is not one, not two, but the third summit they're having this year. Okay, and not only that, not only that, but if you look at the rumor sites, it's absolutely insane what, what they're talking about happening. It, it's almost unbelievable. So let's go through some of that. Um, first of all, Fuji, if you go to this, this is Fujifilm's official website, okay? Right on their homepage. This is above anything else, right on their homepage. So it's their biggest it's even above their main product. So this is, Fujifilm is considering this the most important thing they could be promoting at all, which tells me that this is going to be something pretty big they're going to announce, okay? So that's the first thing. It's right there. Now, you see the little thing that says coming soon in the lower left corner? You, you see that right there? Okay. Um, that, if you click on that, that takes you to their YouTube page, okay? Which is obviously where they're gonna live stream that, okay? So it takes you to their YouTube page. Hey, that's pretty funny, look at that, 92,600 subs. I got more subs than Fujifilm. <laughs> Not for long, I think they're catching up. We gotta do something about that. Just get the word out about the channel. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, YouTubers don't have big egos now, do they? Okay, so, <laughs> Anyway, where were we? Which slide am I on? All right, so we're here. So there, we, we, this is an a undisputed fact. There is going to be a summit on the 2nd of November, and Fuji considers it to be a major deal. A major deal. Okay, so that's, that's, those are the facts. Those are the facts. Now, 
let's get to the rumors, okay? And when we go to rumors, you, we got to go to Fuji rumors. I mean, you know, come on. So with Fuji rumors, this is what Fuji rumors recently posted, and I about fell out of my chair, okay? Look at this. X-T5 shipping mid-November, okay? <laughs> shipping mid-November. Not announced or discussed or shown off to a bunch of YouTubers, but no, shipping. In other words, it's going to you in mid-November. That's in a couple of weeks, folks. Well, okay, a little bit. Yeah, a couple of weeks. It's not far. It's not far at all. Look at this. Shipping mid-November. Okay, now, that is a rumor. Just be warned, that is a rumor, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, the next rumor, so to speak, is, well, the next series of rumors is what, what do you think, if it is an X-T5, what's it gonna look like? What's it gonna have? Blah, 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 blah. So I want you to now think about this, okay? Do you think it's gonna have 8K? Or do you think it's gonna be kicked down less than that? Do you think it's gonna have an articulating screen or do you think it's going to have the kind of screen that the X-T3 has, which goes up, you know, that, that screen, the three-way tilt screen, okay? What do you think? Which, which route do you think they're gonna go? Because the X-T4 has, you know, the flip around and they did that with the X-T4. So logically one would assume that they would, since they've kind of moved in that direction, they would continue moving and that would be in the X-T5 logically okay but but if you look here into some of these other specs again these are rumors rumors these are rumors okay xt5 to feature a 40 megapixel non-stacked sensor so we're looking at a 40 megapixel sensor for this camera that's a significant upgrade over the xt4 right so that's if that rumor is true, okay? And the other rumor was the price was going to be, I think Fuji rumors said the price was gonna be around the $1,600 range, right? Um, again, a rumor, it could be double that, but that's the rumor that's out there. Um, the other thing, which I found interesting, and it's not surprising, I knew this was coming, if it's true, it would have IBIS, and pixel shift, it's going to have pixel shift, if you believe this rumor, for 160 megapixel images. All right, so we're there. And we have dual SD card slots. It's not gonna have CF Express. Not gonna have CF Express. So, you know, with all these rumors, it's it's kind of, is it a waste of time to talk about? I don't know, because Fuji Rumors has been so drop-dead accurate with everything that they've announced for so long that I don't know. I, I'm, I'm saying these are rumors, but they're like rumors that are pretty good rumors. And we have, on one hand, beyond all fact, there's going to be an announcement on the 2nd of November. Number two, it's gonna be a big one. And number three, Fuji Rumors is boom, 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 all these different things going out. So, <laughs> you know, and Mr. Jarbles right. You know, a lot of us could use help with that. And so if that's true, if, the, if half these rumors are true, if the 40 megapixel rumor is true and the pixel shift is true, okay, now, what are we left with? Oh, and say the price. Say it's like $1,700 or something. I don't know. What are we left with, folks? What's the number one thing above all else that I know, I know you want to see on a new XT camera? The dials. You want to make sure those dials are back. So, will it have a PASM dial or not? Okay. Everything that, and I've been to a lot of rumor sites, not just Fuji rumors, but if there is an X-T5, no way in hell would it have a PASM dial. It will have the regular X-T dials, just like the other X-T cameras. That's just common sense, okay? However, 
What we come down to though is the articulating screen. How are they gonna handle that? How are they gonna handle things like the battery, right? Um, I don't know. You know, that's, that's something to, we'll see. What do you think? We should place some bets. What do you think? So let me go to the comments here. Um, because I can't imagine us going into next week, we turn on, you know, Fuji on November 2nd, and, you know, the guy gets up there and he's like, you know, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. We have this new lens to announce. Yes, it's a 31 millimeter. Okay, thank you and have a nice day. That they're, that they're not going to do that, okay? <laughs> Come on. So it's going to be a big deal, whatever it is. So I promise you this. I promise you this. Uh, whatever it is, but particularly if it's an X-T5, I will be putting out a video on that day. I don't care what I got to do. Obviously, I'm not, whatever the product it is, I'm not going to have it. Okay. I don't have any product, just so we're clear. I have no product, but I will, it will be like I had the product. I will tell you everything you need to know about it. And I will have that video for you on November 2nd. You have my word on that. All right. So make sure you come to the channel about that. Um, Unless it's such a boring product, you know what? Then I'll make a video talking about how bored I am. Okay, so you're gonna get a video either way, <laughs> right? But I wanna hear what you think. What do you think they're gonna announce? This is a big deal. Um, third one of the year. Okay, so here we got Jeremy saying, Fuji Rumors is already confirmed. It's a three-way tilt screen, no flippy screen. Wow, let's say that's true, okay? That is going to make a lot of photographers happy. Okay, and it's going to confirm, if that's true, it's going to confirm a uh, suspicion that I had because for a while now, and I have always said on this channel, you know, you can have a bubble picture of me with a little like quote, right? It says, there is no such thing as the perfect stills camera and the perfect video camera. Doesn't, it doesn't exist. They're, they're too different. They, the needs are too different. So I've always been thinking, well, what track is Fuji going to go down? Are they just going to embrace the GFX system for photographers and kind of just as they're sliding into video, they're sliding into video with the X-T4, you know, is, is that where they're headed? And then obviously they came out with these two banger cameras this year um, for video. Video, 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 video. Okay. What happened to... The classic focus on photography, is that gone? Or according to what, who, who said that rumor? Was it Fuji rumors? Somebody said it may be a three-way articulating screen, whatever it is. If that's true, if that's true, then this could be Fujifilm's return to embracing a camera for photography especially street photography, okay? I mean, that you get where I'm going with this? This is a big deal. This is an exciting event, if these are true. And if not, then Fuji rumors will be so wrong on so many counts, and I'll look silly as well. So, <laughs> you know, but I think it's true, and we'll have to see, though. Um, and, and Natalie, I agree with you. All of these XT cameras should have screens like that. I would love that to have that as well. Agree. Um, you know, so, geez, look at these comments coming in. Wow. Yeah, that's right. November, no, that's right. November, we are so right. And yeah, we got all kinds of comments here. Great. So, I don't know, you know. We'll see. I mean, it's, it's, this is a really exciting time to be in the Fuji universe, I think. I, I don't know. I mean, it just the fact that this is their third summit, and I feel like this is just me, but I feel like they are saving the best for last. You know? I'm not knocking the X-H2. I love the X-H2. But there's a, there's, there's like... 
plutonic love, <laughs> right? Which is like, I love this camera. It's great. It, you know, it, I love it. It's a great camera. But then there's the dials and there's the feel of the X-T camera, which made you fall head over heels in love with Fujifilm. Um, and the thought, the mere rumor of Fuji not only releasing a newer model that could be up to 40 megapixels, but also going back and having that photography centered articulating tilt screen, to me, you know, one thing that I do hope is that battery, in terms of battery, that they would use if they were doing this, the same battery as the T4, right? But we'll have to see if, again, if they launch a T5 at all. And for all we know, they may not. And Fuji rumors would be absolutely way off base, you know, so. Okay, that's that's my input on it. That That's it. Um, and... It, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, I'll hold you to that. I will hold you to that. Um, <laughs> I love Friday afternoons with these live streams. I, I just love it. I, lo I love it. I just love it. Patrick, you're so funny, man. So I don't know if you heard the earlier part of what I was saying, but you're not really Fuji rumors anymore. You're like Fuji fact rumors. Fact, like a, the combination of fact and rumors. You're not facts t quite yet, but you're damn close. So it's it's like, it's more than rumors. And there's just no way I could not talk about all these articles you've put out. You know, this is crazy what's going on. And again, what I told, what I said to everybody in the beginning, right, was when Fuji themselves, and where was that? When Fuji, oh, here it is. Okay, x -Summit. When Fuji themselves puts this spanning their banner across their entire website, that tells me this is a big, big deal. So, uh, okay, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, nobody is gonna be more excited than I am, trust me, and I will, and, and so what I would recommend you do, okay, if, if you have nothing else to do on the second, is go to Fuji Rumors to watch the live stream. I think they do a stream. Let me know if that's not true, but I think it is. There, You can get to the stream from Fuji Rumors and check out the live event. And then later that day, you know, I am, because I'm going to watch it with you, later that day I'm going to put out a video on it. So I'm definitely putting out a video on it. Be sure to come back to the channel and join me with the video, okay? Um, again, unless it's a really boring announcement and then I'm just gonna go home and cry and maybe have a and maybe have a beer you know that was perfect timing absolutely perfect thank you at perfect timing she's getting better at this so cheers to next week's announcement I don't know what it is I have no no knowledge yet but we'll see this is tough <laughs> Okay, let's open the floor up to comments and questions. Florian, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Wait, what is Patrick saying? Hold on, I, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, I can't keep up with these things. Okay, here it is. Got it. Okay, that, yeah, about the, about the film sims. Okay. Um, and also on Fuji's YouTube channel. Yes, you can see the stream on Fuji's YouTube channel as well. Um, and so either place you go, Fuji Rumors is, is where I'm going to be headed, but um, uh, but yeah, you can absolutely, that's, that's the primary place it's going to be streaming. So, um, wow. Okay, so does anybody have any questions for me? Any videos you want to see? Any feedback? Um, one of the things in terms of the channel that I want to continue doing, well, first of all, Again, I want to thank the backstage members and the channel members because without your support, you know, the channel wouldn't be doing and going places where it's going right now. Um, I, honestly, and, and I felt like, you know, with the contributions that are coming in, I should put some kind of like annual report. I mean, it sounds a little corporate, but how is the money being spent, right? What is it that I'm getting around here to make things better? Well, actually, to be honest with you, 
I bought some binders that I mentioned in the beginning so I could get more organized. So, I mean, it's, it's helping. It really helps for sure. Um, and, and batteries, that's another big expense. Batteries, I chew through them constantly. Batteries um, and mounts, light stand mounts. I'm constantly going through those. Um, I got another unboxing knife because I got tired of using that butterfly one. It wasn't as sharp, so I got, got that. Um, so we're going places. <laughs> we're going places on this channel. Um, but let me know if there's if there's any questions you have or anything like that. Um, Natalie's got a good one. What would the next X100 be called? Maybe the, the, the T1000. I don't know. What would it be called? Um, wait, hold on. Can we shift the Friday live session to Sundays? Because my friends are going to... Oh, okay. Well, that's a concern. You know, that is a concern. So let me... What day would be best for you for these live things? I'll tell you, for me, it's still Friday in terms of my schedule, but I just work here, okay? And if you all prefer a different day, I will make that work. So let me know that. Um, Sunday is probably the hardest of the days for me to do of the entire week. So I would prefer if it was a different day, but if that's the day that I can get more people and it's, it's easier for you to attend, then, then I'll make that work. I, I will definitely make that work. But let me know, please. I want to I wanna know. Um, okay, so we got a comment here. Camera Conspiracies sold his XH2S due to terrible autofocus and unusable 1080p 240. What's your opinion on those features? Okay, so 1080p 240, I've never been a fan of that. Um, and I wouldn't use... 240 on these type of cameras just because it doesn't look good um, In terms of what was the other reason he, he was hap unhappy um, Terrible autofocus not sure I disagree with that because I am holding an XH2S and I have not had Bad autofocus with this camera the autofocus is much better than the T4 which is what I'm coming from so maybe it's a question of perception. I'm coming from an X-T4 and I am telling you, if you have an X-T4 and you pick up one of these and you start using autofocus, you're going to love the autofocus on this better. Okay. Much, much more. So I don't know. And, and to be honest with you, I haven't seen that. If you made a video on it, I haven't seen it. I don't know. Um, but you know, everyone's experience is unique and it would be interesting to know if our, our other camera YouTubers having that problem? Are they are they saying that the autofocus on the X-H2S is not as good? Let, let me know because I that's the kind of the first I've heard of it with that. But I would agree the 240, I've, it, I wouldn't use the 240 for any kind of professional stuff. Um, bu, 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 bu. I agree. I agree, Dan. I agree. Uh, I want to do more collapse. In fact, um, I am, it's my fault Benjamin Kinneric has been trying to get on the show again. I want to connect with him. I, I dropped the ball. I, I got to reach out to him. I'm behind on that. There's a few others as well. Um, I want to connect up with Omar again, for sure. And, and some, some new people. Um, Big Head Taco Channel. I love that. We hung out in New York, and I would love to do a collab as well. So that definitely is on the plate for the next kind of phase of the channel, for sure. You know, it's like when you start a channel, it's like starting a business. You're in the grind. You're doing everything yourself. And at some point, you get to a level. And honestly, it's through the help of the backstage people where it's like, okay, I don't have to stress quite as much about AdSense or about ad revenue or about sponsorships because I do have this little bit of a buffer here. Therefore, therefore, instead of worrying about that and just trying to feed, 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 feed the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, I could then have a little more fun with the thing, you know, and do videos that are collabs that may not get the, the huge amount of views throughout all of YouTube, although some of them might, depends on who I collab with. But absolutely, the answer is yes to that, for sure. Um, camera podcast. I know, and I have the Done Over Perfect podcast. It's, I gotta... <laughs> Dust it off, dust it off, and and get going on it again. Um, and and I, you know, and, and the other thing is, I, it's, I, I've been having, and I'm, and I didn't, I didn't want to mention this, but it's just I, honestly, I have been having difficulty in producing these videos. I don't know if you've noticed this, but hold on, I need a drink to get before I get into this.
I don't know if you've noticed, but my video frequency has slowed down. H have you noticed that? I mean, for a while I was doing three a week, and then it went down to two. <laughs> and now it's been one on Friday. I've, I've always said that I would keep the Friday, and I have, and I have kept to that. But there has been a slowdown in production around here. Now, part of it has to do with time of year. October is the busiest month of the entire year for me, both professionally and personally. So that's one reason for it, but that's not the, all the story. This is gonna sound crazy to you, so, so bear with me though, is that when I got these braces, I had to redo how I say certain words, and the most difficult letter for me to say with these stupid things in my mouth is the letter F. What camera company starts with the letter F? <laughs> okay, so it's a lot of cut, reshoot, and, I, and it's so stupid. It's such a dumb thing for me to focus on. It's such a first world problem, right? I'm just telling you what's happened. That, that's what I've been focused on, and it's been stressing me out. I've been shooting and reshooting stuff. I'll, I'll get the words wrong. I'll have to redo it. I get angry, and then I'm like, it's taking me longer to do the videos, right? And I'm going in this week to get the bottom row. So I'm going to have the whole thing done this coming week, and I just have to push through it. But I think that that has contributed to me not cranking out as many videos. I, you know, um... I know it sounds stupid, okay, but I'm being real here. That is honestly something that has been bothering me. And I want you to imagine if you're sitting down at an editing station for nine hours staring at yourself in 4K. See, I just did it again. In 4K, in 4K video, right? And that that's that's what's been happening. So... <laughs> I'm not, I am not switching to Nikon. I'll take these things out to get out of that, okay? I already did that once in my life. I'm not doing that again. Um, thank you, Florian. Yeah, quantity over, quantity over quality. But I would like, <laughs> I would like to get it back to doing two a week. The problem that I have with three a week is that the quality does start to go down because I don't have any help around here and I just, the quality of the videos themselves go down. So two a week is, I think, the happy place to be. But sometimes, like for example, next week is going to be two, right? I'm, there's going to be something that happens on the second. So there's a video there and then there's my Friday video. So, and I actually have a Tech Monday video in mind, and if I can get to it this weekend, I'll shoot that. So there may be three, but I would like to get back to that. And the way that I think I can get back to that is to have more connection with you. And, you know, doing collabs, doing, um, connecting more on Discord, connecting through Backstage, you know, going, I've been kind of away from the YouTube comments. They, the more subscribers you get on a channel, the more comments you get, which means the pool of the negative ones also increases. And in YouTube, there's this little area under comments for the channel, and you click on it, it has all these comments, right? And then there's a little thing that says, um, held for review, <laughs> okay? And I'll click on that. And the reason why I visit that is held for review is because there are a lot of times that people get accidentally flagged when they shouldn't. They'll, especially with all the camera ter terminology, you know, XT this and blah, 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 blah. YouTube thinks it's spam, and so it filters your comments into this held for review, and your comments go into the, the twilight zone. And I have to go in there and check each one so that your comments can be taken out of there and put on the channel. And so I do that, right? But at the very bottom of the held for review, there's a tiny little, it's like, eight pixel font. You see, I did it again. Font, eight pixel font, <laughs> okay? And it's tiny. And it says something like, see hidden comments or something like that. It's in parentheses. It's a tiny little thing, tiny little thing. And you click on it. And then YouTube pops up a, a dialogue box, right? That says, are you sure you wanna see these comments? The <laughs> They may contain profanity, offense. And, and it's like, you know, every fiber of my being says I should probably close the browser window and not look at these comments. 
but the curiosity of being human pushes me to click yes. And in they come, ding, 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 right? Not all of them very nice, not all of them very nice. So I, I've been staying away from the comments and I wanna come back to the comments more. I can't answer every comment anymore, I just can't do it, but I could certainly be in there more often and that's a way I can connect more with you and you've got my word, I'm gonna continue doing that because that will help me get a little bit more excited when I'm shooting these videos because right now, it's, it's not as much fun. No, it isn't as much fun, but I think that'll help me for sure. Just be nice in the comments on, on, on the videos. Some of you, if you're watching this right now, um, listen, you can think anything I'm, anything I say is stupid. You can call it stupid. You can say it's effing ridiculous. You can do whatever you, you know, attack the subject, attack the opinion, but not the person who's doing the channel. That's, that's where I, I have to cut it off at, okay? All right, so um, we got lots of questions. I'm sorry I'm missing them all. Uh, let's see, XT better, okay, well, let's see here. This is an interesting one. So the T4 better at high ISO. Would you like me to compare ISOs with these? I can do that. That's actually something that I was gonna do anyway, but I'll push it up. That's something I think would be very interesting to, to compare. ISO, you know, high ISO noise on these two cameras. Um, for sure. So, okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, okay. If you could wish for something realistic for the X-T5, what would it be? Okay. <laughs> Full-sized HDMI port. <laughs> okay, that's what I want. I was shooting the video that you saw this morning and this cable, I have a cable down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it plugs in here. Con I, I, it's broken again. It's broken again. So full-size HDMI port. I know that seems nuts to you. Like, you know, why wouldn't you want faster autofocus and all that? Because in my little world here, that is such a big deal, you know? Um, okay. Oh, we got a lot of people wanting that high ISO test. Okay. Oh, and that's another thing. That's another thing. Another channel update, um, which is going to be dun, 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 channel news. Flash basics lesson three is coming and another capture one tutorial lesson. Those two videos are coming as well. Okay. Um, Mr. Jarble, we got lots of people wondering who you are. Are you still in the, in the thing? Give us a hint to who you are. <laughs> I will say this, Mr. Jarble is not a family member, but he he kind of is becoming one here. He's he's like, you know, I'm going to start titling these streams brought to you by Mr. Jarble. So Mr. Jarble's awesome. Um, all right, Natalie's got a question. For instance, oh, no, it's not a question. Okay. 18 megapixels. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, you do. You do get super detailed for sure. Um, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Um, this is the part of the live stream where I'm all over the map, right? I, it's like swirl, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's just how it is. It's like the last, what, what are we at? The last five minutes, because after this, I, I have to go at five. I'm flying a drone. Uh, I better not have too much of this. I'm flying a drone up and shooting down. I'm, I'm doing some footage for my son. Actually, he's got this science experiment and I have to video the, and take pictures of these painted things that he's doing it anyway i gotta get the drone for that so i'll be i'll be going drone flying in a bit um i have not checked out paul's uh, capture one tutorials no no i have not seen that are they are they good what are they like um isn't it the size of the pixels yes that is very true i would love to do a whole video on this topic yes that is true very 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 true um okay let's see let me go back I don't want to have missed people. Uh, Jonathan Fletcher, hello, hello. Martin Smith, We've got uh, Ricardo, Gary Moore, how you doing? And yeah, there is more to life, agree. <laughs> There's a lot more to life. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, all right, I can only rant about this. It's H-E-I-F, I think, or H-I-F extension. Um, I, I want nothing to do with that. There is a setting in here for that, and it's just, it's idiotic. I, I, there's just no reason for it. I, you know, I don't know why 
Yeah, JPEG, and it's H-E-I-F. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, so anyway, uh, just keep it on JPEG. There, JPEG works. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. You know, that format is not widely supported yet. And I'll, here's my rule for choosing a format. This is my golden rule. This is Paldatex rule that you can take with you. Free of charge. I'm giving it to you, okay? And it's a guideline. If a, if a photo format like JPEG, PNG, GIF, TIFF, whatever, if it won't display on a website, then I'm not using it. Okay? You can't use HIF. If you try and drag it and drop it into Squarespace or some kind of an editor to post on your, it won't work. You've got to convert it to a JPEG anyway. So you may as well just have it in JPEG. I, I just, I don't see a reason for that. If this didn't have RAW, if I couldn't shoot in RAW, then I would probably want to have both formats use the JPEG as the JPEG and this other format as kind of the negative. But having RAW, there's no reason. I, I can't think of a reason. Somebody convinced me otherwise. Honestly, I, I would love to know why that's a thing. Because computers don't even fully support them in their operating systems. And maybe they will one day, but then give me a call when they do and I'll, and I'll start using it. Okay, that's my rant on the HIF format. Um, yes, it would. 18 to 55, I can confirm. At least on the X-H2S it does. So, um... <laughs> okay. Hello to Egypt. How you doing? Hello, hello. Um, I love Egypt. I've been there three times. And every time, I it, it's a challenge to go and see the Sphinx and the Pyramids and to be by yourself, right? And so in Egypt, when you show up at the pyramids, I don't know, this was a long, this was many years ago, I don't know if it's still like this, but people are constantly coming up to you, you know, hello, yes please, you want Coca-Cola, ice cold, hello, hello, constantly, constantly. And so you're trying to see this incredible, majestic, you know, these are the pyramids. And people are coming up, hello, hello, yes, yes, you wanna change money, hello, hello, constantly, constantly. And so I would try and get there crack of dawn early in the morning. I would try and get there, you know, late, in, you know, just to get alone time. I'd have headphones on. I thought maybe if somebody saw me with headphones on, they'd leave me alone. Doesn't happen. So one time, and this was the time I was there in, now we're going to go back a few years, but this was 1991. And it was shortly after the U.S. invasion of Kuwait, okay? Um, that had ended. I happened to be going to Egypt, <laughs> okay? And I went to the Valley of the Kings and there weren't any tourists there. Nobody was there. And I remember riding a bike, you know, they had bicycles you could rent and I rode it into the Valley of the Kings and there was King Tut's tomb. And I rode up to King Tut's tomb and there was no ticket taker in front. Nobody was there. And I mean, nobody was there. So I walked into King Tut's tomb by myself and I was gonna buy a ticket. I had the money to, to do it. Nobody was there. And I walked down and you go down and, the, and you looked and, and it was lit up. They had these light bulbs lighting it up inside. And I went in there and I went into one of the antechambers or whatever where they have the sarcophagus. And I went inside there and on the walls, they have the hieroglyphics and all of the writings from what, you know, 5,000 or whatever years ago. There, I was, I'm not kidding. I was the only person anywhere in the area. There was nobody else. And I sat down on that floor, cross-legged, looked up, and just, it was, it was an incredible experience. Unreal. I would recommend it to anyone. Go check out Valley of the Kings. It's, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so that's my Egypt story. All right, I've got to run, but um, <laughs> La Shukran, is that how you say it? La, La, Sh La Shukran? La Shukran. Okay, that's good. I wish I had known that. I would have used that. Um, yeah, there's other ways you can say no thank you. Um, okay, that's a good point. Yes, HEIF is 10-bit. Okay, fine. It's 10-bit. I still prefer raw. Um, okay, so, but that's a good point, Natalie. That's, that's, that, that I should have mentioned that as well. Is there an off-season in Egypt? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, it was really crowded when I was there, except for that one time, and that was because there was kind of a, a war in the region, so... Um, I don't know, but, um, 
Any other last minute questions before I go? <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions here? Do you guys like these live streams? Should I keep doing them? Um, tell me because I like to be productive and I like to not waste people's time. So if I'm telling you about, you know, I'm walking around in Egypt, is that a good use of your time or not? Because seriously, keep me in check because I can go right back. We can talk about specs and cameras. Honestly, let me know. I could use your guidance on this. These live streams are still new to me, believe it or not. Even though this is my 14th electronic campfire, it's still new to me. All right, um, look, we got everybody talking about HEIF. Fine, use HEIF. I'm not using HEIF. I'm shooting in raw JPEG from now on. That's, that's it. I'm not doing HEIF. Um, okay, here's another one. Here's another one, live, Friday live to Sunday. Okay, looks like Sundays are becoming a thing. Um, thank you, Catherine. That's nice of you. Okay, Keith. Hello, hello. All right. Oh, I hate having to go. I hate it. I hate having to go, but I, I do. So I'm gonna. This is the two minute warning. I got to wrap this up. I got um got to get organized here. But is there any other questions you have for me? On um, you've got your whole weekend. Is anybody gonna get out and do some shooting? Um, it with any any lens, you know, just get out and do some shooting. You're working on projects. You're working on any creative outlets. Don't just focus on projects for clients. Do stuff for yourself. Do creative stuff for yourself. I would argue that obviously money's important, but that for your creativity is even more important to make sure you do stuff for yourself. And I do stuff around here for myself. Not every video I make is Fuji, as you've noticed. That bike review video, that was for myself. That was fun, I enjoyed that. That intro that I made, I love that stuff. So I enjoyed that. Um, okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, of course I can. Hello, 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 Naples. Yes, I have been to Naples. And Naples, I've been there twice, actually. Um, I almost got hit by a car in <laughs> Naples crossing the street. So yeah, I wasn't there that long, but yeah, um, it, it's an interesting city. I'd like to go back and not get hit by a car, but it, it's it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, and you are not Jonathan, the first person that has said this. The eighteen to one thirty-five. I don't have that lens, and I would love to check it out. Love to. Um, awesome, Natalie. I am pleased to see that. That is good. Get out. Uh, 6K is <laughs> great job, Miles. <laughs> I don't know. I you guys are cracking me up, and I'm yeah, working on your portfolio. Good, good, good. Work on that portfolio, and even if you don't have any clients at all, then make a portfolio for you, right? To sh just for you to have, because a portfolio is permanent. Every video that I make is permanent. Long after I'm gone. You know, and there's a little gravestone and it says Pal the Tech. These videos will still be there. Hi, I'm gone, but I'm here. You know, I mean, they're still around. Stuff you create will always be there. And you've got the greatest tools in the world to create. And, and, and listen, from what I've seen in backstage and on the Discord server, oh my goodness, the level of talent and experience that you all have is incredible it is mind-blowing it I, I was i mean i knew when i was doing this youtube channel that i would i'd see you know some real professional shots and i would you know meet some professional people but oh my god you you guys are incredible you're incredible okay so uh oh you missed the old tune all right i'll bring the old tune back for a few videos not all of them but a, f a few videos for that Okay, hello Uruguay, Daniela. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, you are blasphemous. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. Does it? Gear doesn't matter. Gear, gear doesn't matter, right? If it's Nikon, it's okay. We are welcoming of everyone. We are welcoming of everyone. Okay, XT5. Excuse me, XT5. Next week. I hope. I hope. Okay, everyone. I I gotta. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Ricardo, hello. Uh, I, I, that's not off topic. It's a good question. I have a four millimeter lens. They, it's, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it was sent to me by, I think it's TD Artisans or Seven Artisans or 50 Artisans or Artisans Forever, whatever. 
it was sent to me to review, and I have it. It's a fisheye, and um, that is another video that's coming for sure. Um, okay, everyone. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Thank you so much for the super chat. If I missed your super chats, I'm so sorry. I I will go back through these. Um, I'm doing. I'm really doing my best to to do this. You know, to keep going through this. Florian, thank you. Sasha, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. And and that means a lot to me that, that you love the channel. It really does. Um, Mr. Jarble, um, the next time I do a live stream, I'm going to just call it the Mr. Jarble stream. So look for that. It'll be a week from today. Um, okay. I think we are... Did I miss anybody? Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. No. Oh, my goodness. We This was a big stream today. I mean, this was a, a like a big one. Okay. So I'm going to be... Signing off, um, let me get here. Please, if you liked this live stream and this electronic campfire, then please give it the, the like and subscribe, okay? Um, and if you do, you know, hit the like, because that does actually help the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. I'm getting hurt by the YouTube, al the, I can't even speak. I'm getting hurt by the YouTube algorithm because I'm not doing shorts. I refuse to do them. I think they're low value content, that vertical stuff, I'm not doing it. So you won't see that on this channel. I'm, so, But the algorithm keeps telling me to do that. And so um, anything you could do, the like definitely will help keep this, this, you know, keep us going, keep this electronic campfire going. Um, Thank you so much, Nav. Thank you. That's really nice of you. That is really, really nice of you. Uh, and where are you? Are, are you in India? Where are you? No, you're in Qatar. Maybe. Tell me where you are. I'm curious. Curious. I like to know where people are from. Um, okay, so I think we are going here. Let me get ready to sign off as I do. All right. So um, have a wonderful weekend. And do let me know. I honestly, I wasn't joking. If if I should stay more on photography topics or if the format's fine the way it is, just let me know. I try and do a mix of both, you know. Um, and I am going to be seeing all of you next week. Don't forget to tune in on the second, okay? And I'm telling you that because that's going to give me the motivation to get excited about a possible product that I don't even have. So, um, yes. And you too, Mr. Jarble, have a great weekend. Hit me up on Discord. I will be around on Discord all weekend. I will see all of you. Qatar, okay, great, 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 great. I was in Qatar for one night, but uh, I didn't get to see much. Spotless and beautiful, but I didn't get to see very much of it. Maybe I'll go back one day. Okay, everyone, uh, that is it. I'm going to go. I'm really tired. Thank you so much for joining me. And Honestly, more than any other live stream I've done, and I've now done 14 of them, this may have been my favorite. You totally made my week. Thank you. All right. Take care. I'll catch you soon.